70 million years ago, the ever-changing and interweaving river channels that crossed the floodplains of northern China created a dynamic landscape that changed with the seasons. Here, you would have found a dinosaur 35 times larger than its relatives, the largest known oviraptorsaur to have ever existed. Allow me to introduce Ark's newest arrival, the Gigantoraptor. Weighing in at around 2 tonnes and reaching 8 metres in length, the Gigantoraptor was a giant, ground-dwelling bipedal dinosaur from the late Cretaceous. It was discovered in 2005 under unexpected circumstances. A Chinese paleontologist, Xu Sheng, had been asked to reenact the discovery of the Cynidosaurus for a Japanese documentary. Xu obliged and started digging out a thigh bone. On closer inspection, he realised that this bone was not from a sauropod as expected, but from a large, unidentified theropod, and as such, the discovery of Gigantoraptor had been captured on film. Gigantoraptor is classified as an oviraptorosaur, which means it belonged to a Central Asian family of two-legged dinosaurs named after their presumed habit of stealing and eating other dinosaurs' eggs. Ovi meaning egg, and raptor meaning thief. There is no evidence that the oviraptor, or any of its relatives, stole eggs, but they are known to have actively brooded their eggs and young. The in-game oviraptor is a relative of the Gigantoraptor. It is hard to establish how the Gigantoraptor lived and ate. It had a long neck, a trait found in many herbivores, but it also had large sharp claws, which are normally found in carnivores. The only part of the head that has been found is the lower jaw, and the shape of this indicates that they had a shearing bite and a large tongue. The form of the toothless jaw indicates that the skull was likely over half a metre long and equipped with a horny beak. It is often described as omnivorous, or as an occasionally carnivorous herbivore. Relative to its size, Gigantoraptor had unusually long and slender legs. These were either perfect for running away from predators, or perfect for chasing down prey. If it was a herbivore, then long legs would have enabled it to cover the long distances to find food in the semi-arid environment that it called home. It is unknown whether the Gigantoraptor had feathers or not. Oviraptorids usually had feathers, something that Ark's oviraptor is sadly lacking. Feathers and hair are used for insulation, but larger animals tend to need less insulation because they can keep themselves warm by their sheer body mass. There are varying thoughts regarding the feather coverage of the Gigantoraptor. It may have had none. It may have had some for display behaviour and for covering eggs whilst brooding, or it may have been completely feathered. Until further specimens are found, we simply will not know. The discovery of the Gigantoraptor has enabled researchers to explain several earlier Asian finds of very large oviraptorsaurian eggs. These eggs are up to 50 centimetres long and were laid in enormous rings with a diameter of 3 metres. The central area was left vacant, creating a space for the adult to sit and incubate the eggs without crushing them. So much is unknown about the Gigantoraptor, and with only one partial specimen having been found, this isn't surprising. But whatever it ate, and however it looked, it would have been an impressive presence in the delta of northern China. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you made it this far, make sure to comment Baryonyx below, and I'll see you in the arc. Take care.